The Moldavian magnate wars refer to the period at the end of the 16th century and the beginning of the 17th century when the magnates of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth intervened in the affairs of Moldavia, clashing with the Habsburgs and the Ottoman Empire for domination and influence over the Principality. The Magnate Wars causes Jan Zamoyski, Polish Grand Crown Chancellor and military commander, known for his opposition towards the Habsburgs, had been a vocal supporter of Commonwealth expansion in the southern direction. Since the early plans made by Commonwealth King Stephen Batory for the war against the Ottomans, Zamoyski supported him, viewing those plans as a good long-term strategy for the Commonwealth. Any policy that was against the Ottomans was also supported by the Holy See, and Pope Sixtus V strongly expressed his support for any war between the Commonwealth and the Ottomans. Three powerful magnate families from the Commonwealth, the Potokas, Karekas and Wisniawikas, were related to the Moldavian Hospodar Iremiamo Villa, and, after his death in 1606, they supported his descendants. Around the end of the 16th century, the relations between the Commonwealth and the Ottomans, never too cordial, further worsened with the growing number of independent actions by Cossacks. From the second part of the 16th century, Cossacks started raiding the territories under Ottoman rule. The Commonwealth could not control the fiercely independent Cossacks, but was held responsible for them, since at that time they were nominally under the Commonwealth rule. At the same time, Tatars living under the Ottoman rule were raiding the Commonwealth. However, they attacked mostly in the southeastern areas of the Commonwealth, which were fairly sparsely inhabited. While the Cossacks were raiding the heart of Ottoman Empire, wealthy merchant port cities just two days away from the mouth of the Dniepr River. By 1615, Cossacks had even burned the townships on the outskirts of Constantinople. Consecutive treaties between the Ottoman Empire and the Commonwealth called both parties to Kirk Cossack and Tatar activities, but they were never implemented on either side of the border. In internal agreements, pushed forward by the Polish side, the Cossacks agreed to burn their boats and stop their raiding. However, Cossack boats could be built quickly, and the Cossack lifestyle required periodic hunts for glory and booty. Sometimes Cossacks just needed resources to ensure their subsistence, while on other occasions they were bribed by the Habsburgs to help ease Ottoman pressure on their borders. Also, there was widespread animosity between Cossacks and Tatars. After decades of border clashes and reciprocal looting of estates and villages, Cossacks raided Ottomans' territories and the vassals near the Black Sea almost yearly, usually attracting retaliatory Tatar raids. The vicious circle of chaos and retaliations often turned the entire southeastern Commonwealth border into a low-level war zone. 1593 to 95 in 1593 war between the Ottoman Empire and the Habsburgs started. In 1594 a very strong Tatar raid carried by about 20,000 minus 30,000 men led by the Khan of Crimea. Ghazi II Dere plundered Pokusi and moved to Hungary through mountain passes in order to plunder Habsburg lands. Commonwealth troops gathered too late to intercept it. The Prince of Transylvania, Sigismund Bathory, nephew of former Polish King Stephen Bathory, had strengthened Habsburg influence in Moldavia after setting Stephen Razvan on the Moldavian throne. Stefan Razvan was a Roma from Wallachia who had married a Moldavian noblewoman. A pro-Polish hospodar was mostly tolerated by the port when the Commonwealth was anti-Habsburg or neutral. Therefore, when Emperor Rudolf II's forces gained control of Moldavia, Transylvania and started supporting Mihai Vitezul, Prince of Wallachia, the Ottomans didn't look too favorably at the Commonwealth's meddling. In 1595 Zamoyski, persuaded by Moldavian refugees, decided to intervene. The Commonwealth forces under Hetman Jan Zamoyski crossed the Dniestr, defeated local opposition and Ottoman reinforcements. 
and set Iremiamo Villa on the Moldavian throne as a Commonwealth vassal. This was seen by many as a very dangerous step because Ottomans were preparing to place their own candidate on Moldavian throne. Zamoyski contacted Grand Vizier Sanar Pasha and negotiated with the Ottoman governor on the Black Sea island of Tyrhine and convinced him of his peaceful intentions and that he did not want to fight with the Ottoman Empire. However, the Khan of Crimea, Ghazi II Duray, reacted and entered Moldavia with about 20,000 men. Zamoyski fortified his camp near Skora Prut River, withstood a three-day siege, and managed to obtain an agreement with the Ottoman Empire that recognized Movila as Hospodar. Moldavia became Commonwealth's vassal and paid tribute to Constantinople at the same time. Not satisfied with this, previous Hospodar Stefan Razvan invaded Moldavia, but his troops were crushed by Zamoyski and Razvan was impaled by Movila. 1599-1601 In 1599, Mihai Vitezul, wishing to secure his back after Sigismund Bathory's departure from the Transylvanian throne, defeated the new ruler of Transylvania, Andrew Cardinal Bathory, who lost his life fleeing after battle, and took over Transylvania as governor on behalf of the Habsburg Emperor Rudolf II. Later on, Mihai defeated Iremiamo Villa and took control over almost all of Moldavia, with the exception of Cortine, which remained in Polish hands. Mihai used titles of Voivode of Wallachia, Transylvania and Moldavia for the first time in May 1600. He tried to get recognition from Emperor Rudolf II, offered his vassalage to the Commonwealth and organized an anti-Turkish league. After King Sigismund III Vasa refused, Mihai sent his troops to take over Pokusi but Commonwealth hetman Stanislaw Olkievsky met them with resistance. In 1600 Zamoyski and Hetman Jan Karol Chodkowicz gathered Commonwealth forces, returning to Moldavia, where they fought Mihai. Zamoyski defeated Mihai Vitezul near Bukov in Wallachia, on the Teliagen River, near present-day Pluiesta, restored Iremia Movila to the throne, and helped his brother Simeon Movila to gain the throne in Bucharest thus temporarily extending the sphere of Commonwealth influence south all the way to the Danube. In the meantime, Mihai Vitezul traveled to Vienna to ask for the Emperor's help. In exchange for assisting the Habsburgs against the Ottomans and imperial influence over Moldavia, previously aligned with the Commonwealth, the Emperor promised help and in 1601 sent an army led by Giorgio Bastar that was to accompany Mihai on the way back. Upon their arrival in Transylvania, after the joint victory at Guruslaw against the Prince of Transylvania, Sigismund Bathory, General Bastar assassinated Mihai Vitezul during the night on the field of Campia Terzia, effectively taking Transylvania under Emperor's lead. Captain John Smith, the famous leader of the colony at Jamestown, Virginia and the Pocahontas story, was serving Sigismund Bathory as a mercenary. Smith was captured and sold the Crimean Tata slave traders. He later escaped to Poland before continuing on to England, from where he sailed to America in 1607. The Commonwealth was unable to capitalize on its gains, as the Polish-Swedish War had just started and the majority of Commonwealth forces were desperately needed to protect Livonia. A year later, Simeon Movilla was ousted from the Wallachian throne by local boyars who replaced him with Rudis Urban. With the consent of the Ottomans, the Commonwealth managed to retain control over Moldavia, and the only side not to gain anything was the Habsburgs. In fact, they lost control over all of their former possessions in the region. However, the Peace of Itava ended the Habsburg-Ottoman conflict known as the Long War, and forced the Ottomans to recognize the Habsburgs as equals, due to the former's inability to penetrate royal Hungary. This ended direct war between the Ottomans and the Habsburgs for decades, but the two powers still struggled for influence in the region that constitutes modern-day Romania. 1607-13 Iremiamo Villa died in 1606. 
In 1607 Stefan Potocki set his brother-in-law, Konstantin Movilla, on the Moldavian throne. However, Stefan Potocki was one of the pro-Habsburg magnates and Gabriel Bateri, the anti-Habsburg ruler of Transylvania, removed Konstantin Movilla in 1611. The Moldavian throne now fell to Stefan II Tomsa. A second intervention by Stephen Potocki in 1612 was a complete failure. Potocki's 7,000-strong army was defeated on 19 July in the Battle of Saso e Rog by troops of Tomsa and Khan Temir's Tatars of the Bujak Horde. Stefan Potocki and Konstantin Movilla ended their lives in Ottoman captivity in Constantinople. A counter-raid of Tatars and Tomsa on the Commonwealth was stopped by Olkievsky without a fight, and an agreement between Olkievsky and Tomsa was signed in October 1612. Tomsa assured about his friendliness that he will help to patch up conflict between the Ottoman Empire and the Commonwealth and pledged allegiance to the Polish king. In 1613, when Sigismund signed a de facto anti-Turkish defensive treaty with the Habsburgs, counting on their support for his restoration to the Swedish throne, Poland further moved into the enemy camp from the Ottoman point of view. Hetman Stanislaw Olkievsky, with a show of force, induced Moldavians and Turks to compromise and signed an agreement in 1612 with Stefan Tomsa at Kortin. 1614-17 Indiana 1614 Sultan Ahmed I wrote Sigismund III that he was sending Ahmed Pasha to punish those bandits, that this was not meant as a gesture of hostility to the Commonwealth and that he asked of him not to be a host to fugitives. Ahmed Pasha wrote Hetman Olkievsky asking for cooperation. Olkievsky answered that he had already done a lot in order to curb Cossack attacks, and that most of the Cossacks raiding Ottoman lands were not the Zaporozhian Cossacks of the Commonwealth, but rather Don Cossacks. Olkievsky's troops made another demonstration, but Ahmed Pasha did not attempt to cross the border, and settled for building new fortifications in the region of Ochikov in order to prevent future raids. In 1615, Iremia Movilla's widow and Dukes Mitchell Wisniawiki and Samuel Kareki organized a third intervention, this time carried against King Sigismund's wishes. Their troops consisted of their own private troops, mercenaries, Cossacks and Moldavians loyal to Movilla. Tomsa was removed and the young Alexandru Movilla was set on the throne, but this situation was not to last. In August 1616 Iskander Pasha, Bailey B of Bosnia, defeated magnate forces on the very same spot at Sesoe Rog with Duke Samuel Kareki and the Movilla family ending up as prisoners in Constantinople. Kareki managed to escape captivity, briefly re-emerged, but was taken prisoner yet again after the defeat in the Battle of Skora in 1620 and was strangled to death while in custody. Again in 1616, Stefan Olkievsky managed to cool the tensions displaying Commonwealth military readiness and signing a new agreement with the new hospodar, Radu Mini, in Braha. He was promised Moldavian mediation into patching up conflict between the Ottoman Empire and the Commonwealth. Radu Mini pledged allegiance to the Polish king and promised not to allow the Tatars' passage through his territory. However, northern and eastern wars with Sweden and Muscovy diverted the attention of the Commonwealth and strained its military might to the limit. In 1617, after yet another wave of Cossack raids, the Sultan sent a powerful force under Iskander Pasha to the Commonwealth borders. The army consisted of Janissaries, Tartars and Vassal, troops from Transylvania, Moldavia and Wallachia. Olkievsky met them near Bussa, but neither side could decide to attack, and letters between leaders had been exchanged since the start of Iskander March. Olkievsky had mostly magnate troops and no Cossacks troops. 
as the Commonwealth fought war with Muscovy and with newest Swedish aggression on Livonia at the same time. While the Ottomans were at war with Persia, Olkievsky was forced to renounce all Polish claims to Moldavia through the Treaty of Bossa signed with Iskander Pasha. The treaty stated that Poland would not meddle in the internal affairs of Ottoman vassals in Transylvania, Moldavia and Wallachia. The Commonwealth was to prevent Cossacks from raiding lands in the Ottoman Empire, while ceding Cortine. In return, the Turks promised to stop Tatar raids. 